Investments is a Murugappa Group company, a stock, a company that we don't discuss about very often on air or uh, within the markets community. But given the solid run-up that the stock price has seen over the last six months, uh, giving its investors a return of more than 150%. In fact, uh, if you look at it, in the last 30 days alone, the stock has grown more than 31, 32-odd percent. Uh, so that is something that has really uh, hogged a fair amount of limelight, propelling uh, people like us to decode uh, what's really fueling the rally as far as the stock of tube investments is concerned. Firstly, what does the company do? Many of us uh, think of it as a pure play or to ancillary player, but it has more to it. It specializes in engineering, manufacturing of uh, bicycles, metal formed products and chains as well. It has uh, several subsidiaries operating under the umbrella of tube investments. First is TIDC which also is a leading manufacturer of uh, power transmission, precision of fine blanked components as well as conveyor chains. Another uh, subsidiary is Tube Products which caters to auto sector, to general engineering, boilers, uh, air heaters, wide goods industries etc. That is uh, what the company essentially caters to. Then you have TI Cycles. Many of us know uh, the company for brands like uh, Hercules, BSA, Montra. So they're leading manufacturer of bicycles in the Indian market. Uh, TI Metal Formings, another subsidiary, another pillar for growth for the company, specializes in manufacturing of uh, coal roll form products uh, and components. Uh, what are the key developments now that have transpired of late in the company that is uh, that are keeping the stock very much in the limelight? Firstly. Just yesterday, they were informed the bursars about preferential allotment. They're looking to raise about 350 crore rupees by allotting shares to Azim Premji Trusts as well as SPI Mutual Funds. Apart from that, uh, there's an impending deal which has finally been formalized yesterday. Once again, the company uh, informed the exchanges that they now are a majority stakeholder of CG Power a deal that the street was keenly and closely watching out for and were awaiting more fine uh, more fine print for so they have finally made it official 50.62 percent equity is what now they hold in cg power then you have a bulk deal uh, development as well small cap world fund has bought about 23.65 lakh shares in the company at a price point of about 841 rupees a piece so a big name entering uh, the counter is also something that has really enthused the markets a fair bit um, of course we all know about the fact that the company has uh, reported stellar set of numbers late last month uh, for uh, the second quarter of fy21 and this amid a very very weak environment for uh, the entire automobile space, uh, the entire heavy manufacturing industry for that matter. And despite that, they've been managed to outperform estimates. Um, and there's been a bit of uh, uh, a change as far as the management also concerned. Uh, the chairman, Mr. M. M. Murugappan, recently retired uh, following his superannuation. Right now, Mr. Velayan is taking care of uh, the company as CEO. And uh, in fact, the management commentary is something that I would like to flag off next because that is uh, something that has been the talk of the town quite a bit because of the kind of vision that they have given to their investors, to their shareholders, and the guidance that they've given for future growth. Uh, there's definitely a significant amount of thrust on long-term value creation. They want to focus very, very seriously on capital allocation. They want to focus on improving profitability. In fact, they've guided that they're confident of achieving 14 to 15 percent PBT margins in the next three to four years. And do remember, just by the end of FY20, what they delivered was 10 percent uh, as far as the PB margins are concerned, and they're confident of achieving 14 to 15 percent levels. Um, the efforts are also on to keep the costs down for the company. They're also creating a permanent capital. They're working towards that. They aim to deliver a revenue CAGR of 17% plus in the next three to five years. Uh, that's another forward-looking uh, guidance that seemed to have uh, uh, really impressed and enthused uh, the shareholders of the company. And uh, at the same time, as they sort of uh, give out these ambitious targets and talk about their big plans, they're also at the same time building leadership pipeline to manage the potential growth. So all in all, Solid uh, commentary, solid uh, results declared by the company, big names entering the counter, preferential allotment happening and uh, the latest acquisition um, of CG Power. These are the host of developments that have transpired and that is why Tube Investments has suddenly become the synergy of all.